Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows Update Error 0x800800005 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reset the Software Distribution Folder and Windows Update Component. So to do that, press the Windows button, type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window, make sure to input the following list of commands. But as always, press on enter after each command. Note that this can take a bit of time because it's a pretty long process and you have quite a list of commands. Just copy paste each command from the description below, press on enter and you'll see that it will take maximum a few minutes. Afterwards, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on System on the left pane and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do in here is click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to run a system scan. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. From here on, copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below and make sure to press enter after each command and wait until the scans are finished whereas you can restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to restart some services. Press the Windows button, then type in services and select it as an application from the search result. So the first one that we have to tackle is the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. So right click on it, then select the restart option. Now, if you want to go into properties and check if it runs automatically, make sure to head over to the startup type section, click on the drop down menu and select automatic. Now you can just click on apply and OK to save the changes and you can move on to the next service, which is Windows Update. You can do the same for Windows Update. Right click on the service, then click on the restart option, afterwards double click on it to open its properties window and make sure that the startup type is set to automatic. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes, then restart your computer and you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching!